wewe kuzwa hiyo uh, and uh, i stay in amshanga and i am a fashion designer by profession my business is here in the cpt Over the years I'm known here in KZN as the icon of fashion because there was no designer in front of me that I'm, I'm uh, that I'm copying from. I'm very grateful that God gave me the, the the kind of parents that I have. He came out here daring enough to come and walk me down to the ward and he introduced himself as Victor Kuzwai. He was a pianist. He would take me to a hall, a jubilee hall. There was a big grand piano there. And then he would take me and without me knowing, and he would ask me to sit down and he would open this grand piano and play. He was a pianist. Play Last Date by Floyd Kramer. Floyd Kramer was a very romantic uh, musician. I was a nurse from 1965 to 1969. But I had to quit nursing after we were married and I fell pregnant. Dumsani and Nozibo were born whilst I was still, we were still here in South Africa. Then we left for Swaziland. My father was looking for cleaner pastures. Uh, he got a, a, a nice position to work for the Department of Health there. 1976, we came back. After I was born in Swaziland, immediately after that, like, my parents moved back to, to South Africa. We stayed in Umlazi at P section, in a small four-roomed house. I said to myself, later on, when the kids have grown up, perhaps it was school going age, I'll go back to work. But came that time, my husband instead bought me a sewing machine. I was really, really so frustrated. I decided that after all, I, I, I like dressing up. I like fashion. So perhaps if I, I could make a career out of it. Initially, after getting that sewing machine, I started just sewing, you know, cutting, you know, very informal. I said to myself, OK, because we, we were struggling financially, I would sew to make ends meet. Most probably I was there when she, she saw her first uh, shed and I was probably there when she, she went out to sell that, that shed to make money and then actually realizing that uh, fashion designer can, can be a career. I bought a lounge suit with the money that I had because I would make these stylish uh, and pinafores and take them to the nursing home. The nurses were buying because they knew me. I did that until in 1983. I said to, to, to my husband, you know what? I'm tired of making this. I make so many aprons. But when, I, when I've sold them, I realized that I'm making so little money. I saw as I was passing one other boutique, a, a gown that was spread like that. And it was written, designed by Steve Gray for Miss South Africa. I was so taken up by that. Uh, and I said, this is what I want to do. So I enrolled in, in one college. That's a college that is Linear Academy under Steve Gray. I opened up my business in 1986. I started with two students who were social workers in, in their profession. But they wanted to, to, to be taught to dress up. When I, I started thinking deep about this, I realized that it could, it could lead to some other line of business. I remember that I was just one such person. Uh, so I went through Kwa Mutle to get all the permits and it was a long story to open up a business in the CPT area, especially if you are black. To be honest, I really do not understand how she made it. Before I knew it, it was such a big thing. The CEO award goes to Miss Lindy Wetuzwai.
she made a lot of money. We were rich, so to say. Everyone at home had a car. Bought by me. In 1992, it was my first trip to France. We also done many other shows here in Africa, in Egypt, uh, in Zimbabwe, in Zambia. Mandelou, Marseille, and I've been to Ken. My parents had been married for over 30 years. The students came to my office, they said, Ma'am, well, we've come to tell you something. You know, Bab Kuzwai is busy uh, with that girl. I don't know what got into my father when, uh, when, when he cheated on my mom because everything was going very well. I said, you know what, now enough is just enough. I'm going to divorce you. I want you to take this girl, marry her if you want, but I'm not in the picture. 10 o'clock at night, we, uh, the phone rang, the house phone, and I picked up the phone. And it was the police, and they said, they asked me if I knew Dumsan Kuzwai, and I said, yeah, he's my brother. And they said, no, there's a problem. Can you please come to the M4? Then we jumped into the cars, and we drove there. And then when I came there, I could see that there was an accident, a big, horrible accident. The police took my mom a couple of meters away from us, and they spoke to her. They said, we are sorry, your, your, your son has been involved in a car accident, and there was nothing we could do. He's late. got a phone call from an uncle of mine to tell, to tell us that my father had a stroke. Me and my brother Kwame, we, we went to the hospital, and we actually saw him there uh, with all kinds of machines plugged into him. I called my mom, I called my sister, I told him, please come quickly, stop whatever you're doing. If you're wearing your pajamas, just don't bother changing or putting on anything else, just come as you are. So we immediately went to the hospital. I went with my mom, my sister joined us there. When we got to the sixth floor, my, brother, my father had just passed away. God being so great, I have Kwame, who decided he wanted to study fashion. I work together with my mother. Um, she's got her, her own label, which is Lindy Wekuzwa Couture, and mine is Kwame Ches Couture. My designs are Hwate Couture. I just don't do cut lines. But I've seen these socialites and, and people, celebrities that I've seen in the magazines that are said to be in, uh, the, the reigning in Joburg. Their styles are so simple, except for David Lale. He is very dramatic. I am very dramatic. We are a single purpose institution that only offers a, a course in fashion design. Our courses are NQF Level 4 and NQF Level 5. I am involved with the first year students. I teach them from A when they don't know anything. And then he, take, he takes them on to the second year level with what he attained at, at DUT. I know the way that I've structured my own curriculum. It's more to help the most disadvantaged individuals. Come uh, uh, the awards functions, people want to dress up. Come weddings, people want to dress up. Come birthday parties, metric dance, being South African with uh, our uh, African figures, most of the garments in the shops don't fit us. Putting that all together, we still win. Because we're not competing, China won't affect us. And my mom said, you know, the house is empty and we need to make use of it instead of selling it because it's property, you know, it, it's very valuable. And she said she wants to start a BNP. I put down the reasons why 
because this house needs maintenance. Most of the searching up was done by my mom. In 2007, it was uh, uh, won an award as a, an imaging, in the imaging category, because I just opened my doors. And then in 2008, I was an overall winner. Besides having the bed and breakfast, I want to have a crash. A good, a bourgeois kind of, because I like children. And I feel I want to be closer to the girl, girl child. I've done it all, really. Mine is just to take it easy now.